Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Jesus, we love you, we praise you, we worship you. Jesus, we are in love with you. Lord, we bring to you our hearts, exposing our hearts to you as your heart is exposed to us. Let us take a moment of silence to bring to Jesus our heart and all that weighs heavy upon us all the intentions we have, all the desires and longings of our hearts, inviting Jesus into every room and area in our hearts that we are aware of. Jesus, you, we know that you are our divine healer and redeemer. You know us more than we know ourselves. You know the areas that each one of us is most in need of healing, spiritual, physical, emotional, mental, any type of healing that we're in need of. And we pray for the grace of faith during this rosary cynical and throughout our lives that we may reach out and touch you, Jesus, just as the hemorrhaging woman came with her hemorrhages. We come with our hemorrhages right now and throughout this cynical, bringing our hemorrhages to you, reaching out and touching the hem of your garment in spirit. May you feel your healing, redeeming graces flowing from you to us, Lord. And we bring with us the hemorrhages of our church, of our country, of our world, of all nations, the hemorrhages of those of our loved ones, of all those we hold in our hearts, Lord, we bring them with us, just as the friends of the paralytic brought the paralytic man to you. We bring all those most in need right now, and let's take a moment of silence to bring to Jesus all of those that we hold in our hearts in need of prayer. We pray especially for each of our family members and loved ones and those most in need of prayer, those who have fallen away from the church, those who are in need of healing physically in any way, whether cancer or other ailments, Lord, we reach out and touch you for each and every one of them. We pray in a very special way this rosary for our Holy Father, all cardinals, bishops, and priests, religious and lay faithful, the whole Catholic nation throughout the world. We pray especially for our own Bishop Lewis, Monsignor Fulham, Father Bernie, Father John, Father Fenton, Father um, Emmanuel, Father Mike Snyder, all the priests, religious and lay faithful and deacons here in our diocese and we unite with all of you joining us for your bishops, your parish priests, all those that serve you, the religious and lay faithful of your diocese as well. Lord, we pray for a stirring up of the Catholic nation throughout the world for, with courage, with the Holy Spirit, just as the first apostles and disciples. We know this is the grace of this cynical that we are praying now, is to be as the first apostles and disciples in the upper room in the cynical of Mary's Immaculate Heart, 
disposing ourselves to the Holy Spirit, that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and inspired, Lord, in your holy will for us in these times. And any other intentions? Jesus, we pray for all those who have asked for our prayers that you have promised to pray for. And I ask if all of you can at least say a little prayer for Philip Padanostra, a friend of mine and a friend of my brother's, who um, has been diagnosed with uh, cancer for the past Jesus. year. And it's metastasized through his brain. He has about 50 spots in his brain. He's very scared, Lord. So we lift him up to you, Lord. And we just ask that you bring healing graces to him. Bring great healing to him completely if it is your holy will. But I pray, Lord Jesus, that you strengthen him, that you give him courage, and that he never loses hope. And we also pray for his wife and his children, for uh, courage for them and their holiness of life. And for all those who are suffering, yes from cancer, all those who are suffering from any uh, serious uh, ailments, Lord, at all. And we would ask Padre we, Pio, St. Padre yes. Pio, to intercede for this grace. And we pray for the um, Tuesdays as well, uh, for healing graces for them this time. And for all those who have asked for our prayers, we would promise to pray, pray for us, for Susan Loesch, and, just all, and my sister, those who are very much suffering. And for everyone here in need of healing graces and joining us. Any other intentions? Well, my nephew tries to go to Jackson next Thursday to see him on the stage on college and stuff. But I don't think the top 10 is in that situation and that he's already taken care of it and for the courage to take care of it. For the sick, the hungry, the homeless, and the elderly, those suffering from drug addiction, and to abortion, we pray for the Lord. Thank you. I pray for the sick and the suffering, especially those who will die today, the poor souls in purgatory, their families, also that the light of truth will shine forth in the heart of all mankind. And in thanksgiving for my daughter's parents coming back. For all Catholics to return to the faith. For all Catholics to return to the faith. To the truth, that they may be brought into the fullness of the faith. For the sanctification and purification of Holy Mother Church. We pray especially for um, all the hierarchy within the church, that the Lord will shower many graces upon them, that they will be free from any deception, and that they will be able to speak the truth in love and with holy boldness and courage. And we lift all of these intentions, and including praying for the beloved holy souls in purgatory, especially any of our deceased relatives, loved ones, and benefactors who are in purgatory and in need of prayer and also the forgotten souls. We pray for all of them, placing all of these intentions into Mary's Immaculate Heart as we pray this rosary for Mary's intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and life everlasting. Amen. For the holy intentions of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For an increase of divine faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of divine hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of divine love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. praying the luminous mysteries because we are in such need of light in these times in this great darkness we're in such need of truth when there's so much deception uh, confusion surrounding us and in such need of healing graces <clears throat> the first luminous mystery the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan the fruit is submission to the will of the Father. In Matthew 3 we read, And when Jesus had been baptized, he at once came up from the water, and suddenly the heavens opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming down on him. And suddenly there was a voice from heaven, This is my Son, the Beloved, my favor rests on him. <coughs> and Mary reportedly tells us, <clears throat> understand then how your true act of consecration is that of baptism. By this sacrament instituted by Jesus, Grace is communicated to you, placing you in an order of life higher than your own, namely the supernatural life. Through this, you participate in the divine nature. You enter into a communion of love with God, and your actions, accordingly, have a new value, exceeding that of your nature because they have a value which is truly divine. Throughout this mystery, let us renew our baptismal vows, surrendering all to our Lord, being one with Jesus in this mystery as he surrenders his life to the Father and his divine will. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan as we go there to the Jordan River to encounter Jesus. And as we renew our baptismal vows, may we as well experience our Heavenly Father saying to us, this is my beloved son or daughter in whom I am well pleased. Lord, help us to know your divine and holy will 
individually. What stirred in my heart in this, this mystery of the baptism of the Lord is, as Sister says, we hear those words from God the Father as Jesus is being baptized in the water. He sanctifies the water. He doesn't need baptism. He's sanctifying the waters for our baptism. But he said, this is my son, the beloved, in whom I am well pleased, or my favor rests on him. And what was coming to me was that Jesus has not even begun his, his ministry, his healing ministry. When God the Father is saying, in whom I am well pleased, he was simply doing what you and I do, are called to do every day, the will of the Father in the present moment. Jesus was fulfilling God's will in the present moment by helping his father to build, to be a carpenter, to be, Jesus also ministered to Mary and Joseph, to anyone that would come around speaking to them of God the Father. Jesus simply did God's will and he lived a contemplative life for those 30 years before he entered into his public life for three years. So he's showing us the power of prayer and contemplation. The power of hiddenness. We don't have to be somebody as the world tells us. But we are children of God. And that's the highest calling that any of us could ever had. And this is being somebody because we are God's body. We are his children. The second luminous mystery is the wedding feast at Cana. The self-manifestation at the wedding at Cana of Cana. And we hear in John's Gospel, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said, woman, what do you want from me? My hour has not come yet. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now Mary reportedly tells us, when you invite me to pray for you, I accede to your request and mingle my voice with yours, and I unite my prayer to yours. What I ask for, I always obtain, because Jesus can never say no to what his mother requests of him. And so as we meditate upon this mystery of Mother Mary interceding for us. How powerful that is. Mary is interceding for us. Jesus says, but my hour has not come. And his hour had not come. He always refers to the passion. But it was Mary's hour. Mary's passion began as she sees her son entering into a heavy, heavy trial ahead of him. Mary was with Jesus every step of the way. If she wasn't there physically, she was certainly there spiritually. So let us ask our mother, because she wants to, let us ask Mother Mary to be with us spiritually in our sufferings, in our trials, and everything that we're going through. I need you, Mother. I need you to be with me in my sufferings, to be with me in my trials. Dear Mother, you are the perfect Mother. You are my Mother. You are our Mother. Thank you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the wedding feast at Cana. Let us encounter Jesus and Mary in this mystery. This mystery, what's been stirring in my heart, is something that I read that I never knew. That it just did. It, when, it, when I read it, it just made so much sense to me. But in the wedding feast of Cana, 
Mary went to Jesus to say that there was no more wine. Now, it's Jewish custom. It's Jewish custom that whenever there's anything wrong in the wedding, whether it be no more wine or whatever, you go to the bridegroom. You go to the bridegroom. Mary is making a statement here. Jesus is her bridegroom and our bridegroom. And the wedding feast at Cana, as he changes water into wine, is a prefigurement of the holy sacrifice of the Mass, where the wine is changed into blood. And our bridegroom comes to each and every one of us. And as we receive him in the Holy Eucharist, we are consummated. This is the consummation of Holy Church, the bride with her bridegroom. It's hard for us to see this. We, we need to use our spiritual eyes our spiritual senses and to transcend the natural into the supernatural to realize that we have a bridegroom Jesus is our bridegroom and this is the teaching of Holy Mother Church this isn't something that's just made up let us reflect on this because when we reflect on Jesus as being our bridegroom, he cherishes you and me as no other bridegroom could ever do. Jesus cherishes every one of us, our souls. Yes, men as well transcend the natural to the supernatural. It's nothing about the physical. It is a supernatural love relationship. An intimacy into me see that Jesus desires with each and every soul. But as we enter into this union, it permeates the physical as well. It transfigures, it transforms us into other Christ. As we enter the third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom with the call to conversion. Jesus is calling us to live this reality of our baptismal vows and of this communion of life with him. We read in Mark 1, After John had been arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. There he proclaimed the gospel from God, saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. He's calling us to repent and believe the good news of our salvation, of our inheritance as children of God, as, as the bride of Christ. And being Jesus' bride, he wants to heal us, just as he did the hemorrhaging woman. So let us bring our hemorrhages to him in this mystery. Mary reportedly tells us, I am the mother of the second evangelization. I am guiding you as a star along the bright way of fidelity to Christ and to his gospel. You need to return to a belief in the gospel of Jesus. Who would like to lead this? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the proclamation of the kingdom with the call to conversion. As we encounter Jesus, the same Jesus who was for three years went around healing, he is here with us now in his Eucharistic presence. Let us reach out and touch him with our hemorrhages and those of the whole world. And as we are here in this mystery, encountering Jesus, coming to him with our hemorrhages and reaching out and touching him, Jesus, we bring to you our country. We bring to you our world, all the nations throughout the world, especially on this day when there is such upheaval and chaos and confusion and suffering throughout the world and we are at war in so many ways Lord we come to you praying for healing 
<clears throat> praying for grace, praying that you will permeate us all in your precious redeeming blood and that you will keep us safe from any anything that is not of you that would seek to attack us in any way. We pray for protection as well against any natural disasters and against any attack against other, other people. And Lord, we bring to you what we recently heard on September the 14th on the triumph of the cross through the news that they're rolling out Lucifer rays, which will go on our skin. And they said they will place it as a mark. And they will know everything about you. If this is not the mark of the beast, I don't know what is. The name is Lucifer rays, and they're calling it a mark, and it will go on your skin. And a certain light will pick it up. And so we thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us Mary to protect us in these times. She is the ark into which we must enter. Let us, throughout this rosary, renew our consecrations to Mary because as she tells us, we have nothing to fear. May nothing take us from peace in Christ and the truth of our dignity as children of God. If we are in the heart of Mary, she will help to keep us in God's grace amidst anything that is going on because there's enmity between the woman and the serpent, between her offspring and his. And so, Mother, in this mystery, as we continue, we renew our consecrations to your Immaculate Heart. Help us to remain in your heart throughout the whole of our lives. And we say these things, brothers and sisters, just for us to be aware so that we will not be deceived. And Mother Mary will keep us from being deceived. So the fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration. We hear in Luke's Gospel, a voice came from the cloud saying, This is my Son, the Chosen One. Listen to him. And Mary reportedly tells us, as he was transfigured on Mount Tabor, in the presence of the three apostles, Peter, James, and John, so also will he manifest himself to you in the splendor of his divine glory. If you climb with me the holy mountain of humility and littleness, of love and purity, of silence and prayer. Mother Mary, please grant us the grace, all of us the grace, to climb that holy mountain with you of humility and littleness, love and purity and silence and prayer. Mother, we need your help to remain little, to remain humble. <coughs> There's just so much around us, Mother, that can distract us. So many other voices that we hear, Mother. But we want to hear that voice of the Father saying, this is my son and my daughter. And also that this is Jesus. Listen to him. Listen to him. Let us listen to Jesus' voice and not all these other voices which are lying to us. Who would like to read this mystery? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, Pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Let us take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of the Transfiguration. As we see in this mystery, Jesus, Jesus has come to us. He's entered into our humanity in order to draw us into his divinity. As we dispose ourselves to graces that are flowing from his presence before us, we are divinized. We are transformed into other Christs. Jesus, we ask that you transform our minds and our hearts, every fiber of our beings, especially if there's anything within us, Lord, that is not of you. We re 
rebuke anything that is not of you, Lord, any spirits that would seek to cling to us that are not, that are not of your Holy Spirit, and we command them to go to the foot of your presence in the nearest tabernacle, in, this, in the Holy Eucharist, before us here. Cleanse us, Lord. Cleanse your church. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of Jesus in the Eucharist. The fruit of the mystery, intimate communion with God. We read in Luke 22, Then he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He did the same with the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood poured out for you. Jesus is truly present before us here in the Eucharist. And wherever he's present in the Eucharist, all of heaven is present. This is truly the porthole to heaven. This is where God has established his throne here on earth, in his Eucharistic presence. And wherever he is present in the Eucharist, all of heaven is present. The nine choirs of angels, all of the saints, this, our Holy Mother, our Heavenly Father, and the Holy Spirit are one with Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. They cannot be separated. And the holy souls in purgatory are very close. So let us spend this time in heaven. Allow this mystery to draw us into heaven, into union with God, in and through all of heaven, the angels and the saints, and especially the heart of Mary. May they draw us to know and love Jesus and adore Jesus present before us. Jesus, we ask forgiveness for the times we have been indifferent to your Eucharistic presence. We ask forgiveness for the ways that you have been treated so terribly in your Eucharistic presence and, and sacrilegiously received, Lord. And when we have not prepared our hearts to receive you and we bow before you, Lord, we make reparation for those who assault you so horrifically with satanic masses and rituals, Lord, we we ask forgiveness, Lord. We come before you, bowing before your Eucharistic presence to make reparation for those who so uh, abuse you and treat you as they did when, on your way to Calvary. They treat you this way now in your Eucharistic presence, Lord. We come into this mystery to bow before you, to praise you, to adore you as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Jesus, we love you so much. Jesus, we thank you for remaining with us, even though you knew that you would be treated so horrifically and abused in so many ways. Lord, you still remain with us because you want to be with us. And so we thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We adore you. We are in love with you. And Jesus, we ask forgiveness for any ways that consecrated religious have neglected you, especially myself, and any ways that I have, whether, however small it may be, it is huge because you are my bridegroom. So I ask forgiveness for any ways that I have neglected you, O oh Lord. Pray to you. And for all priests, for any ways that they have neglected you, Lord that they quickly go through the Mass and never spend a moment with you in Eucharistic adoration. Lord, we pray that our priests will <clears throat> spend more time with you, that they will 
receive a great grace and that they will receive peace in their hearts as they do so, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that light will flow from your Eucharistic presence everywhere to all people in the area of your Eucharistic presence throughout the world, that you may draw people with good hearts to your presence to recognize that you are truly present among us. As Pope St. John Paul II said, that this new millennium would be intensely Eucharistic. And he called for a Eucharistic amazement. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord, we come to you, begging you, Lord, for many graces to flow from your presence, to bring healing and renewal and restoration to your church. And our Heavenly Mother reportedly tells us, enter into the cynical of his divine love to savor all the sweetness of this last supper jesus gives his body and his blood as spiritual food and drink for your new life he wants thus to unite himself intimately with each one of you to the point of becoming totally one with you Who would like to lead this? Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, my.
Why, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Mother of the Eucharist and Queen of Peace, pray for us. O Sacrament, most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us take a moment of silence to soak in the graces of our Lord's Eucharistic presence before us. Mother Teresa once said that one holy hour before our Eucharistic Lord is more powerful for the good than a nuclear bomb for the bad. This is one holy hour of just one person. Can we imagine the graces that are flowing now as we are before our Eucharistic Lord, adoring him together? Lord, we beg of you, for so many graces to go out throughout all the world. Just renew us, renew us. Stop any nuclear wars, any, anything that is not of you, Lord, that is being um, set up by the evil one and his minions. We reach out and touch you, Lord. May your graces, your power, go forth from your presence here to any place right now throughout the world that is in need of being attacked and, and brought down. Anything, Lord, we ask that your precious redeeming blood will cover this world, will permeate the web of, of the evil agenda and melt it and dissipate it, just like the wicked wit the Wicked Witch of the North, West, West, West. West. That, that it may melt away, Lord, in your power, in your grace. Jesus, we trust in you. O oh, Mary, Mary conceived conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O oh, Mary, oh, Mary conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, oh Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrusts me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Raphael and Saint Gabriel, pray for us, especially Saint, Gabe, Saint Raphael. We pray through your intercession for all those most in need of healing physically in any way. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint Pope John Paul II, pray for us. All you holy angels and saints, pray for us. Holy souls in purgatory, Pray for us as we pray for you. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those within our own homes and within our own families. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Celestial, Mother Mary, Celestial Queen, with this rosary we bind all of our children and loved ones to your immaculate heart. Amen. We will turn to the Marian Movement of Priest book, To the Priest, Our Lady's Beloved Sons, and sister will come back um, with a reading she has the reading right sister yes Come by means of the power and intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse. So we will do uh, number 335, 335. And this is very fitting because today is the 24th and Mary gave this reportedly on September 29th, which is coming up, the Feast of the Holy Archangel, mm. which is a very powerful feast day. Yes. The so uh, September, so this is 335, number 335 in the Marian Movement Blue Book. With you in combat. Mary gave this reportedly in Naples, Italy, September 29, 1986. Fight, dearest children of my, my, Excuse me, fight, dearest children, my apostles, in these last times of yours. This is the hour of my battle. This is the hour of my great victory. With you in the combat are also the angels of the Lord. 
who at my orders are carrying out the task which I have entrusted to them. All the heavenly spirits are luminous and powerful beings, and they are very close to God, whom they love, serve, defend, and glorify. In the light of the Most Holy Trinity, they see all the dangerous and subtle snares set for you by the wicked spirits who struggle against God and against his royal dominion. This is a terrible battle, which is being waged above all at the level of spirits. Those who are good against the wicked, the angels against the demons. You are involved in this great struggle, and it is for this reason that you must always entrust yourselves to their sure protection and through prayer, often invoke their powerful assistance. All the heavenly spirits know my plan. They know the hour of my triumph, and they see how the attack of hell in these times of yours is becoming powerful, continuous, and universal. Satan has succeeded in establishing his reign in the world, and he already feels that he is the sure victor. But the moment of his great definitive defeat is close. She gave this message in 1986, so it's even closer now. For this reason, the battle is becoming more fierce and terrible. And you too, with the angels of the Lord, are being called to battle. The weapons used by the demons are those of evil, of sin, of hatred, of impurity, of pride, and of rebellion against God. The weapons used by the heavenly spirits who are at your side to do battle are those of goodness, of divine grace, of love, of purity, of humility, and of docile submission to the will of the Lord. The heavenly spirits have also the task of strengthening you, of healing you from your wounds, of defending you from the snares of my adversary, of protecting you from evil, and of leading you along the luminous way of my will. The Archangel Gabriel was sent by God to accept the yes of your Heavenly Mother. Now he has the duty of accepting your yes to the will of the Father. He strengthens you and sustains you. He leads you along the way of courage and of heroic witness to Jesus and to his gospel. The Archangel Raphael gives refreshment to your weakness, pours balm on every painful wound, and lifts you up from the weight of your weariness and discouragement in order to continue the struggle with the shield of faith and with the armor of love and of holiness. The Archangel Michael defends you from all the terrible attacks of Satan who is particularly raging against you who form part of my cohort and are allowing yourselves to be led with docility by your heavenly leader. How many times would you have become victims of the attacks of Satan had not the Archangel Michael intervened in your defense and for your protection? Invoke him often with that very efficacious prayer of exorcism against Satan and the rebellious angels because he is guiding you in this battle in such a way that each one of you may be able to fulfill the task which has been entrusted to him by the Heavenly Mother. And so, be united in an affectionate and fraternal communion of life, of prayer, and of action 
with all the heavenly spirits who are engaged together with you in fighting the same battle and preparing God's great victory in the glorious reign of Christ which will come to you with the triumph of my immaculate heart in the world. We will take a few moments to reflect on our mother's words and how they speak to us personally. It's again number 335.
the consecration prayer in the back, <coughs> A4. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Virgin of Fatima, Mother of Mercy, Queen of Heaven and Earth, Refuge of Sinners, we who belong to the Marian movement of priests, consecrate ourselves in a very special way to your Immaculate Heart. By this act of consecration, we intend to live with you and through you all the obligations assumed by our baptismal consecration. We further pledge to bring about in ourselves that interior conversion so urgently demanded by the gospel, a conversion that will free us of every attachment to ourselves and to easy compromises with the world, so that, like you, we may be available only to do always the will of the Father. And as we resolve to entrust to you, O Mother most sweet and merciful, our life and vocation as Christians, that you may dispose of it according to your designs of salvation in this hour of decision that weighs upon the world. We pledge to live it according to your desires, especially as it pertains to a renewed spirit of prayer and penance, the fervent participation in the celebration of the Eucharist, and in the works of the Apostolate, the daily recitation of the Holy Rosary, and an austere manner of life in keeping with the Gospel, that shall be to all a good example of the observance of the law of God and the practice of the Christian virtues, especially that of purity, we further promise you to be united with the Holy Father, with the hierarchy and with our priests, in order thus to set up a barrier to the growing confrontation directed against the magisterium that threatens the very foundation of the Church. Under your protection, we want, moreover, to be apostles of this sorely needed unity of prayer and love for the Pope, on whom we invoke your special protection. And lastly, insofar as is possible, we promise to lead those souls with whom we come in contact to a renewed devotion to you mindful that atheism has caused shipwreck in the faith to a great number of the faithful, that desecration has entered into the holy temple of God, and that evil and sin are spreading more and more throughout the world, we make so bold as to lift our eyes trustingly to you, O Mother of Jesus, and our merciful and powerful Mother, and we invoke again today and await from you the salvation of all your children. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Adoremus in Santissimum Sacramentum. We thank you all for joining us. We love you and we pray for you.